This is Simonsburg, the mountain named after Simon van der Stel, who founded Stellenbosch in 1679. Today, Stellenbosch is South Africa's most renowned wine region, with the slopes of the Simonsburg offering some of the country's best conditions for growing grapes from which fine wines are made. The Simonsburg estate is named after the magnificent views of Simonsburg seen from the farm. Since its first harvest in 1968 under founding father Franz Malan, Simonsich has been at the forefront of wine production in Stellenbosch. But in 2015, a new chapter was added to the Simonsich story with the introduction of the Garland, a wine which is the result of a mountain, a family, and a vineyard. As its name implies, the Garland is a wine that crowns Simon Such's illustrious history and achievements to date. To create this wine, proprietors of Simon Such, brothers Johann and Francois Malan, looked to outside the borders of the estate. On the Simonsburg, they found a truly exceptional vineyard of Cabernet Sauvignon. The superb fruit quality, a result of soils, aspect and climatic conditions, is deemed as offering the ultimate expression of Simonsburg terroir, a single vineyard from which the first vintage of the Garland was made in 2008. Cabernet Sauvignon is a variety that I think uh, is planted all over the world and quite often it is used as the yardstick to compare one country's wines with that of the other. And it's also a variety that has the nobility and the ability to mature for a very long time. And they also get better and better as time goes on. So for me, Stellenbosch is ideally suited for the growing of high quality Cabernet. We are close to the sea, we've got a maritime climate, we've got these beautiful red soils. And I think the combination of, of the climate, the soils, the altitude where we are at this moment, uh, close to 400 meters above sea level against the Simonsberg, uh, everything works together to make a wine that is uh, of uh, exceptional quality. The Garland Vineyard is farmed and managed by Simonsich under contract with the land's owners, who are related to Johann and Francois Malan on their mother's side. This vineyard is very special for various reasons. I think when I think back of the time when I was a little child, one of the very first wines that my father um, had in his cellar was uh, made from Cabernet along these slopes and they were the late 50s, 59, 60, 61, the 8K Carlonais and uh, I must have tried some of those because I can remember that they were just unbelievably good and the, the slopes of this vineyard were also farmed by my grandfather so from, from a, a family point of view there's a long history of our family with this, uh, this patch of land and uh, I think the quality as well as the, the historical connection makes it quite special in my life. Uh, along the slopes of the Simonsburg mountain you get a lot of these red uh, decomposed granite swells that are about a meter, meter and a half deep with very high clay per, uh, percentage which is uh, ideal for the production of high quality red wines. As can be expected, the approach to the making of the garland is classic and meticulous in order to create the ideal harmony between that which is provided by this unique vineyard and the winemaker's desire to express the values of Simonsich. I think South Africa is particularly uh, blessed in the sense that we are a new world country but an old world uh, traditional way of winemaking and this wine reflects some of that. We use uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and the fermentation and the maceration on the skins last for almost a month so there's a, a very long extraction period to get the complete extraction of all the, the tannins, the flavors, the color um, and the fruit. So uh, it is more of a classical approach than I would say is typically a, a new world approach. Vineyard yield was limited by green harvesting to only one bunch per shoot. The grapes were hand picked and de-stemmed before a cold soak was allowed for two days to enhance the berry fruit aromas. Fermentation was started by inoculation with a Bordeaux yeast to give a slow, even fermentation which peaked at 28 degrees Celsius. 
pump overs and aeration extracted the maximum colour and fruit complexity, and with fermentation complete, maceration lasted a total of 29 days. After pressing, the wine was racked into a selection of the best tight grey new French oak for a total of 26 months. Racking and aeration were done every few months to soften the wine's tannins and to assist with the integration of fruit, tannin and oak. This is the Garland, the story of a mountain, a family, a vineyard. Brought to you by Simonsich Estate, proudly Stellenbosch, proudly South African. <laughs>